How many times have you lost every single project or all of your VSTs and all your stuff on your computer because it crashed and you couldn't get it back? Well, if you have, this is the video you need to watch. Okay, guys, so I want to show you my method of what I use to almost assure myself that I will never, ever lose any information on my computers ever again, okay? So the secret lies in redundancy. So what I have is what's called RAID, R-A-I-D. And what RAID is, this is a system that you'll have a, a RAID configuration where you have a whole bunch of hard drives. And yes, they're still the spinning hard drives. I still use the spinning hard drive because they're still less expensive than your NVMEs and your, and your drives. So what I do, especially for keeping all of the information for the last 20 or 30 years, I have what I, I, uh, what's called a RAID box or a RAID container or a RAID controller or, or, or a RAID hard drive system. And so there's, uh, so what I do is I get a whole bunch of hard drives, maybe six or seven of them, and I put them in a RAID configuration. So my RAID configuration I use is RAID 6. What that means is if I have eight drives, two of those drives are used for controlling. So if I have eight drives, then I can lose up to two of the hard drives and I still have my information. Okay, um, this has come in handy over the years and I've lost a hard drive and I was able to replace hot swap, swap the hard drive. So what I use right now is the OWC Flex 8. So I use the OWC Flex 8. So what I have is I have six hard drives that are dedicated and they're eight terabits a piece. So eight times six is 48. So six minus two would be four. So I only have four. So eight times four is 32. So I have 32 terabits, but it's it's the other two are used for controlling. So if I lose one hard drive, I don't lose my information. If I lose two hard drives, I still don't lose my information. I have a hardware RAID configuration, but you can use what they have is soft RAID, a RAID configuration. I don't like that method because it's not as thorough, but if you don't want to get all technical and get into these RAID configurations, then you can use the soft RAID as well, okay? So that's what I have. I have, uh, I have a tower, as you can see. I have uh, six hard drives there, eight terabytes. So six times eight is 48, but I lose... I lose 16 of those, so that gives me the 32. And so I have 32 terabytes of space and I have all of my stuff on there. But I don't stop there. I have a just straight up hard drive that's uh, rated RAID 0. And so RAID 0 means that I can use all the information. And so I have another hard drive where I actually, once a week, I take this hard drive and I back up my existing hard drive and I take that to a safety deposit box that is fireproof and waterproof every week. So even if I lose all of that on the double raid configurations, then even if I lose that, I still have whatever I lose in that week. Maybe I just lose a week of information. I still have that as a backup because I had situations that even two of the hard drives failed at the same time and I was almost lost if I didn't have the backup. So this method has worked for me. And so what, uh, just in summary, um, I use the Flex 8. I have eight terabit hard drives. I max it out with about six of those. I use a RAID 6 com configuration where I can lose two hard drives and I still have the information. I can hot swipe the information and it'll rebuild. And then I, I have, I have my wife or I will go to a safety deposit box and we'll back up another RAID 0 with all of the information. We back up the information we have on the hard drive and we take it to the safety deposit box. So I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but if you have been working in computers and music and you got files and you got VSTs and you got software and you got uh, uh, all of your, uh, your, your, you got not only your files, but you have your client files and you, and you are responsible for all that. And then this is worth it. It's worth the money to spend to back up for your future. Um, one of the methods that I tried to use back in the day is to, to do everything online and store everything online. 
but that takes entirely weeks and weeks and months to keep uploading and it burdens down your whole system. So the hardware way to me, in my my opinion, is still the best way. So I hope this helped you. I hope this bless you. This is Jamal Harbaugh coming at you with my backup configuration. All right.